Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're just going to be having one of those good old chats, honey, okay? So you know, y'all know every now and again, I come and I talk about things and we share our opinions. I share kind of how I feel about things. And these chats storm from like people leaving comments, leaving me emails and messages, just about different situations, okay? Some things that I feel like, you know, I should address so i'm going to address it now today is going to be more so of like an unpopular opinions video um but yeah no, i don't care <laughs> so we're gonna get right into the video all right so let's get right into it so today's topic we're going to be talking about the infamous okay so we're gonna talk about the infamous elastic bands so i have two elastic bands here guys the most popular things that are in the wig community right now are we a community i don't know what we are is there really a hair community is there a wig community or is it just a beauty community i mean who are we am i included can i be can i, I, I don't know anyways <laughs> look i'm my own community we the Aaron community so, anywho, I have been receiving a lot of comments, messages, and emails. People are just like, okay, you know what? I went to the elastic band for like a way out, okay? I don't want to do glue. I don't want to do got to be glue. I don't want to do the spritz. Like, I don't want to do, I don't want to do the tape. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to put my wig on and I want to go. I don't want to use adhesive. I, I don't this, I don't this, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people switched over to the elastic band method now I mean, a lot of the reason is because of the influencers, because what do, I don't know if I'm considered an influencer, I'm not sure, but what do we do? We influence you to do things, okay? So, a lot of the videos make a Lassie Band seem like it's the best thing since sliced bread. You don't have to do anything, you just put it on and go, which in a lot of cases, that is the case, you know what I'm saying? But with anything, you could definitely have too much of it. Sometimes you have to give things a break, even with healthy eating, healthy things, and stuff like that. You can't have too much, even with drinking water. If you drink too much, there are side effects. With working out, you drink too much, there are side effects. You sleep too much, there are side, there are side effects to every single thing okay the good and the bad all of that you just can't get past it okay it's like a win lose and lose lose situation if you get what i'm saying so <clears throat> for the people that have been reaching out to me they're like erin i'm experiencing hair loss the hair loss is coming from my elastic bands and i don't really know what to do okay and you know <laughs> this is a tough one and I said this is a tough one because you can't just say that some people should know because a lot of people don't. And not to say that no one's stupid or anything, that it's just that some people are uneducated and it's like it's hard because a lot of times we all try to keep up with the trends, okay? Things that are trending, you know, what's next, you want to look like this, you want to like that, you want your hair like this, you want your hair like that, okay? So... With the whole elastic band thing, I have discussed this in another one of my videos. I have discussed like the tension that it could put on your head. Okay, so the tension headaches and everything that on top of the tension headaches, the elastic band will rub. Okay, it will rub on your nape area. And that is where some people are experiencing the hair loss. Okay, the nape area where it's rubbing it, where they're letting that elastic band sit. And if it is too tight, of course, it's, it's just going to put tension tension on an area and then after a while if you keep putting tension on that area then yeah your hair will start begin to be affected your hair and your skin okay and that's just something that you just can't really I don't know guys you can't it's like what do you do you know what I'm saying? Like, when that starts to happen, you're going to have to go to adhesive. You're going to have to give it a break, okay? You're, you're just going to have to. The same thing happened to me when I used to wear half wigs back in the day. Um, and I would put the combs in up here, and I put the combs in the back of my nape. So, what started happening half wigs and also the false ponytails when they were, like, really, really hype. 
I started losing my hair in my nape and it was really hard for me to get my hair back and how it was because of the combs okay when I was sticking those combs in even with certain wigs now they come with the comb in the back which I never secured but I started losing my hair there when I used to wear the false drawstring ponytails those cause so much tension on your hair okay and in many many cases you know I would start losing hair in the middle of my hair or wherever I had that ponytail lit just from attaching those combs and stretching and pulling that band so hard that literally eats up your hair because those combs are like teeth and they get ch -ch 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 -ch. and you know they snap snap on and once you do the elastic band they tighten and that's how your ponytail stays on okay so I had to stop wearing well I actually lessened my wear of them in sooner or later um i did away with them okay and i just found a new style so if this is happening to you what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to let your hair rest okay and for those of you who are just reliant on wigs try to find you another protective style because unfortunately this type of thing is going to happen just like that happens with the elastic band the same thing happens with anything with glue with gel with tape all things like that you know it it could wear on your hair and that's what it's doing especially with these thick ones like that this material is so freaking rough okay so let's just put it like pretend like this is my name if I'm sitting it on there and it's like pulling this way or it's pulling that way or it's pulling this way or it's pulling forward it's going to normally, it, oh, not normally, it's going to eventually slowly start taking the hair away. Or like if you did this for a long period of time somewhere, you'd probably get a burn. And then if you did this where some hair was for a long period of time, just did it like that, you would, the hair would start to leave okay so you just have to make sure that you give everything a rest and everything a break you guys know how i feel about these elastic bands i think that they're okay i think that they're convenient but i'm not the biggest fan it, especially not of these big thick ones i don't like these i don't use these at all now when it comes to these these like little shorter ones i find them to be a little bit better okay um i noticed that people have more problems out of the really really thick ones than they do out of the the short ones and a lot of companies are making their wigs with these with these now but they out they're also making them with combs attached so if you are having problems with the elastic band if they try to very gently utilize the combs a little bit more even though those could damage your hair too it's, it's hard guys because with wigs sometimes you have to pay some sort of a price with them like they're pretty but there's little things that come with them you have to be very very careful okay because just like they can grow your hair they can take your hair out just like i said that's with anything so like i said i like these better if you do have a wig and you're experiencing a lot of hair loss I would say try switching from these to this, which I know it's going to be kind of hard because these will hold better. You'll get a better secure feeling type of hold. But I would say just try these out. Make sure it's not too tight, okay? Make sure it's not too tight and it's not causing too much friction back there. And um, yeah, just switch to these and try to take a break from it. Like I said, try to take a break from it for a while. Maybe wear your regular hair, maybe get some braids or do something to give your hair a break because unfortunately that is what is going to happen. It's rubbing, it's like, it's just constantly rubbing, just like that. That's what it's doing, it's rubbing, 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 so yeah but anyways guys i really want to know you all's thoughts on this whole situation have you noticed anything in the back of your nape and maybe some of you do not look back there but have you noticed anything in the back of your nape or in the back of your head you know do you know someone who who has noticed anything just what are your thoughts i would really like to know it's a topic worth talking about just because there have been three people that have reached out to me and have told me about it and they're just like what do i do and there's not really a lot to do there's not like i wouldn't say there's like a big solution it's just that you gotta give it some time give it a break and make sure it's not too tight and if you can reduce the movement back there then do it because a lot of times people do not install these right those elastic bands okay they're either uh they're they're too tight for one people have them too tight they get headaches you know what i'm saying or they experience hair loss they're just not doing them right or they're they're overly using them okay just overly using them keeping them on for too long and it's just 
is not a good look, okay? But like I said, I'd like to know you guys' opinions on this whole situation. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time.